YouTube, it's Silver Shebeard, and I'm back, and I'm bushier than ever, and right now, we got a little peep, we think too much, um, I'm excited, uh, last couple of days, I've got, I've done different things with little peep, uh, the tattoo tour, reacting to the documentary Taylor trailer, so I'm excited to get back into the music, um, you know, I think it's, it's, it's super interesting, the two different people you see, or you hear from little peep, right, you hear the the music and then you hear like the interview peep and they're co like almost completely two different people so uh i love his music and i love the way he's able to express himself during it i think that's a a, a unique quality that some artists have that others don't and that's why i like little peeps music a, a whole lot better than um a, a lot of other ones um so yeah let us go ahead and jump into uh, the music <laughs> Right off the bat, again, something completely different than what I'm used to. I love, like, I, I hear a flute in there. I hear what I think is, like, an organ-type feel to it. I love I love the his ability to make music and and bring it all together. I think that's a flute. I might be wrong, that might not be a flute, but it sounds like one. Nobody wants to talk to me, but everyone wants to work with me. I love the, uh, what is it? acapella? I love the acapella part. I think his voice suits it perfectly. Like if he did a whole song without a beat, I, I would listen to it and probably love it. Uh, the, uh, uh, not many people can pull off acapella, and he can. Suit me, but everyone with me. it's an interesting message that he's coming across right he he's saying look everybody wants to walk with me be with me hang out with me but not really talk to me they don't want to get to know me they don't want to to understand me as a human being right and i think uh, from some of the parts of the documentary trailer it looks like people were taking advantage of him and it didn't really matter to him i guess much or or he didn't see it and he would help people. Everybody who asks for something, they get, they got it. And I don't know. Maybe this is his way of telling people, "I know what you're doing," but sometimes it's better to have people around than uh, to not have anybody around. So. must be hard because again being famous uh sometimes you feel like nobody really gets you no one knows anything about you and also again he seems so shy in his um tattoo tour and the documentary that when you're talking to him one-on-one -on -one, you might not be able to get a whole lot out of him but the people who understood him and understood things about him were the ones that listened to his music and still listen to his music right if it wasn't for that, we may not know a whole lot about Little Peep and the person who he is. And I think that's fantastic. And it's like he's like in a different element. He's in his element when he's singing. And it's, again, two different people. The artist Peep and the human Peep. And it's insane. It, it, it's really cool to hear. And that's why I love watching interviews and things like that because I get to know who they are outside of their music and sometimes they're completely different people
interesting he's like if i live long enough maybe i'll come out of this shell that i'm in and i'm able to to tell people no you know sometimes you got to be able to say no to people and it's a hard thing to do trust me i know And you know, that's an interesting line too. It's like, I know all about the pain that you go through. And so I don't know who necessarily he's speaking to. Maybe he's speaking to his fans there, uh, his girl, because he says, you know, I just want to put my head on your heart um, or on your chest closest to your heart kind of thing. Um, but he's like, you know, whatever you're going through, I'm probably going through it too. Um, let's go through it together. Let's get through it together kind of thing. You know, I think that that's a very deep message. I also love how Mac Miller and Little Peep know the exact time, the exact places to kind of just let the music run and allow you to apply whatever they said to your life. I think that's fantastic. It's a good song. It's a great song. Uh, probably in my top 10 of Peep songs. Not my favorite. I still love Hate Me better. Um, but yeah, that was really good. I like the message of it. Um, and I think I, I'm starting to understand Peep a little bit more after watching um, the Tattoo Tour. And I'm going to do another interview. The Mon I think Montreal or whatever. Uh, that interview soon. And I'm going to put that up. Uh, that's why I like to, to watch interviews sometimes on, on these artists because I feel like that's when you get to actually know the person and um, then you can pull other things out of the music. And I think that's a, a really cool part of this. And uh, I hope you guys are enjoying, enjoying this journey as much as I am. And, uh, you know, as always, until next time, YouTube, smile like you mean it from... The Bushy Bee.